hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm harris and you're watching possible now so guys today i'm going to guide you about that how you can enable dls for fortnite chapter 6 and uh, this video is going to be really interesting guys just watch the video till the end and if you're new in this channel kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys before starting the video let me introduce you the best tool for fixing ping and input lay issues in your games give up store it's simple and easy to use you can try it out with a three days free trial all you need to do is add your game click once and you're good to go check out the link in the description to get started so guys, step number one is you need to download the required files in your PC so what you're gonna do is uh, download the first file DLS4 uh, this is the latest DLS file from the cyberpunk and the second file is DLS tweaks these files uh, helps to X DLS settings for better performance in your game. So to download them, open Google and paste uh, the first link from the description. Download it from the official website and uh, download the DLS4 files. Once you download, it's complete. I'll locate the file and extract it. Now repeat the process for the DLS tweaks file and uh, after downloading, extract its content into a new folder uh, named DLS tweaks and place this folder on your desktop for easy access now the step number two is you need to download unreal editor for fortnite you will also need the unreal editor for fortnite so research for you fn in google and click on the first result scroll down and download the tool once it's installed uh, you are ready to proceed and uh, step number three guys is locate and replace dls files so next navigate to your fortnite installation directory open file explorer and uh, go to the drive where fortnite is installed and uh, navigate to the fortnite game go to binaries go to third party and go to nvidia go to ngx and win64 now before replacing any files rename the original dls files by adding uh, .bak at the end uh, this is a backup in case you need to restore it later and uh, now copy and paste the downloaded dls4 file into this folder and step number four guys is modifying the engine directory so go back to the fortnite installation directory and open the engine folder and uh, if the engine folder is missing ensure ufn is installed and uh, we get to the engine go to plugins go to runtime go to third party uh, dls binaries third party uh, win64 and uh, repeat the same process in the uh, rename the existing dls files copy and paste the new dls files into the uh, game directory now with the step number five is enable transformer model to enable the latest transformer models you need to go to the fortnite game go to binaries and go to win64 and copy and paste the extracted dls tweaks folder content into this directory uh, select replace files when prompted and uh, run the enable nvidia signature or write file as an administrator and allow it if you are unsure about running it you can inspect the file before launching and the last step guys is configure dls tweaks open dls tweaks as an administrator and scroll down to the global force preset and set it to g now save the changes and now uh, open the epic games launcher start fortnite and test it if dls4 is enabled important note guys here is ufno is required so without ufn the dls option will not appear in the game settings and the game updates remove dls so every fortnite updates may remove the dls files requiring you to repeat the replacement process and uh, the potential anti-cheat risk uh, this method may trigger anti-cheat mechanism so proceed with questions so guys that's it you should now have dls4 uh, enabled in fortnite and uh, if you found this guide helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out